Hey guys, this one is the best free video editing apps for the iPhone for this year. So I've actually got six on the list. I think they're all really great. They're also all free and they don't have any watermarks, which is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what we want. A bunch of them do have some add-ons, some pro features that you can upgrade to. But to be honest, all of these are just really great free options that have a load of features and I think will cover pretty much all the bases. Let's get right into it with iMovie. So this comes with the iPhone and it's a very solid app, but it's quite basic. Really the main benefit of iMovie is because it's Apple's own application, it just integrates really well with other Apple hardware like the iPad or even if you have a MacBook. You can basically share your files across all of them very easily. You can also use iCloud really easily. So that's the main benefit of iMovie iMovie is just super simple. There aren't really any add-ons, any frills, any features. There aren't really too many text or image effects or anything like that. It's a very simple basic editor, but the plus side of that is that it's very easy to use also. So the basics of iMovie, you can change the speed of your videos, you can cut them, you can add effects quite easily such as green screen, voiceover, music and sound effects. But if you want anything special, then basically you're gonna to have to get that media yourself. Maybe go to YouTube and find some copyright free stuff or something like that. You can add it in quite easily, but iMovie itself doesn't really have any of that built in. It might be enough for you, but I'm gonna to get to the next one quickly because it has way more features. This one's Villo. It has just a bunch of more features, some effects, some really cool uh, different color schemes and filters that you can use. You can also create GIFs in this app as well, which I think is pretty cool. So if you have like a video or something, you can put it in there, try and create a GIF of it. So that's a feature that you won't get in iMovie. There's also a load of templates and effects templates, which you might wanna use just to kind of spice up your videos a little bit. So rather than just being a basic editor, you get loads of text effects, captions, different filters, just to make it look a little bit different than just editing a video together. It's also really easy to intricately edit your video. There's also Ken Burns effect in this app, which is when you can actually zoom in and out and around the actual screen of your video. So if you're a little bit more professional, you wanna just change your videos a little bit more, you do have some more pro features in here. You can also add music in here from your iTunes account or from files on your phone if you wanna upload some music onto that. This one also has a bunch of sound effects that are in the app. So when you download the app, you'll get like a bunch of sound effects in here as well, which I think is pretty good. And overall, there's just way more kind of fun effects that you can add onto your video, way more than iMovie for sure. iMovie is just a basic editor. This one adds some features and there are some pro features as well that you can get more effects. But overall, it's a great professional app, but mixed in with some features for casual users too. And the next one on the list, and I have to include this, I really like it, is Adobe Rush. And this is obviously part of the Adobe suite. So if you really are maybe serious about video or photo editing, then obviously Adobe is a very well-recognized name. And they have this uh, subscription now where basically you get all of the apps. So you get Photoshop, Lightroom, Photoshop Mix, Adobe Rush, and a couple more. And basically you have a cloud subscription so you can put all your edits in there save them to the cloud and then have them on your phone and on your computer whenever you want. You don't have to subscribe for that though. Adobe Rush is on the iPhone anyway, pretty much free for everything. There are some sort of pro features that are part of the pro subscription, but for most people, you're probably not gonna need them anyway. So Premiere Rush is kind of a miniaturized version of Adobe Premiere, obviously one of the best used editors in the world. It does have a lot of those features though. You can see all of your tracks together so you can put extra tracks in and put multiple video clips, music clips, sound effect clips all in together and edit them quite easily. You can also record voiceover right in the app as well and it just comes up as a new track. It has more graphics and more effects and also more text options than iMovie, but not as much as some of the others in this list. It really is kind of meant for professionals that just want the basics of editing to put something together, but certainly doesn't have any of the cool social media type features that the other apps have. I would say it's a basic app that pretty much everyone should just download anyway. There's so many good features. It works all the time. It's not buggy and definitely worth putting on this list. 
Funny Mate is the next one, and this one really puts all of the basics out the window, and this is like a social media editor. So maybe if you're a bit younger or a bit more creative and you're really editing videos for posting on social media, either, either on Instagram stories, maybe on TikTok or something like that, then this is perfect. It has tons and tons of effects, different lighting effects and different everything really, just to make your videos really good and interesting to put on social media. You can tell that also because when you do upload your own videos to it, it puts it in a portrait mode automatically. So this is definitely made for TikTok and Instagram, but you can use other aspect ratios as well. The wide aspect ratio, you can choose all of that. You've got all the basic tools there, but it adds loads more. So you can have transitions and also effects of transitions, picture in picture, add music layers, add different color schemes. It's actually way more feature rich than pretty much iMovie and Rush. Even though it's not a big brand name, it's certainly got loads and I really like using it. I would definitely recommend you give it a go. Video Leap is also on the list. This one's really popular. It's downloaded a lot. Now, it costs about $40 a year for the pro version. And if you do wanna go for that, there's basically hundreds of more effects and different things you can do with your video. But for the free version, you get some to try. And for most people, it's probably enough. The downside is that you need the pro version to manually adjust the exposure of your video. So if you're maybe doing some color grading and you wanna do that yourself, you can't have that. But they do have free filters that I think most people are gonna use anyway. I guess most people using these apps aren't gonna be pro filmmakers anyway. You're probably gonna have filmed it on your phone. So adjusting the exposure and the color grades, probably you don't wanna do anyway. So the filters are a great option just to change the look of it and maybe make it look a little bit cooler and more unique. Kind of randomly as well, there's also this really good pixelate feature. And I've had to pixelate a few things here and there, but yeah, it's really easy to use. You just choose a pixelate feature, put it where you want, and then it works. And some of the other apps just don't have it. So it's good that this one does. Then we come to InShot, and this one has mostly free items. There is a paid version, but to be honest, you really don't need it. Most of the items and features in the app are completely free to use. There is one thing that's kind of annoying, which is if you want to change the aspect ratio of a video, so let's say you filmed it in a wide aspect ratio and you wanna change it to something else, then you kind of can't do it unless you upgrade to the pro version. It will do it for you, but it's gonna have this kind of watermark and this blur around the edge, which is kind of weird. I guess what you could do is change the aspect ratio in a different app and then import that into this app and everything would be fine. But this one makes to this because it's very simple. It's got a ton of animations and GIFs that you can add onto your edits. You can also edit and export in 4K without paying any extras. And also with this app, it's not just video editing. You can actually make collages also. And you can put in some photos and edit them in here as well. So it's like a three in one app. It's a really simple editor. It doesn't have some of the cool effects and transition effects as some of the others, but in general, there's a ton of very good free features that you can get into. There are way more free video editors for iPhone that I could have mentioned, but I think these give a good mix of free features and optional upgrades without trying to sell you the pro version all the time. If you know of any more good ones, just put them in the description below so that other people can go and check them out. That's it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.